Hello everybody, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's World Championship 2010 Reverse of Arcadia. The title doesn't feel like it's getting any shorter, in fact it feels like it gets longer each time I say it. Uh, oh, let me turn the volume down a little bit for myself. How's it looking to you? Maybe it could do with going down a little bit for you guys, there we go. Uh, so, when we last left off, we had just cleared out... Uh, let's have a look. We had just cleared out level 2 of the CPU duels. Uh, as you can see, I've now unlocked quite a few additional CPU enemies. Uh, a whole bunch of them, in fact. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily like the quote-unquote actual level 4. Uh, as mentioned, XX Saber, Hyun Lei has been available to me since I beat all of these guys. Uh, as you can see off stream, I've had a little bit of a, a Barney with uh, the level 2s. Got myself a little bit of DP. How much? About 5,000, there we go. Uh, one of my thoughts, having done so, uh, Underground Arachnid is actually really, really annoying. Uh, so when I fought her on stream, she never got her key card out, which is herself. Um, what Underground Arachnid's effect is, is that it equips a monster to itself, a little bit like a Relinquished, uh, and uses that as a, a shield. And it has decent attack stats on its own. And it uh, has a an ancient gear-like effect to prevent spells and traps from being activated when it attacks. Uh, so all in all, the key cards of this deck, although the rest of the deck is okay, um, it is you know sort of e equivalently good to the non-extra deck bits of my deck, Underground Arachnid is very good. Um, Mist Valley never once troubled me. Uh, Witch Doctor Sparta gave me more trouble than I was expecting on a couple of occasions. Um, for whatever reason, like the a lot of these early uh, decks are kind of lockdowny stall decks, um, and in particular, a lot of them are stall burn decks, like uh, Picaroos and like Witch Doctors, and like I think this is supposed to be. Um, Still does seem to be quite powerful in the 2010 format. I suppose that's why things like Swords of Revealing Light are limited. They are powerful because there's not a lot of great removal in this format, because MST is limited, Heavy Storm is limited, and things that are staples in the modern game, like Harpies and Regeki, they're all still banned at the moment. Uh, it's an interesting reversal of Fortune, where Harpies is banned in this, and Heavy Storm is limited, but in the modern, Harpies is limited and Heavy Storm is banned. I personally don't think there's really any justification for Heavy Storm being banned if Harpies is unbanned, but that's a, a, an argument for modern Yu-Gi-Oh people to have. Uh, but we are not going to be venturing into this today. Uh, what we're going to be doing instead is heading into the story mode, which we did not touch on last stream, because we have our least favourite thing in the world. We have... oh, actually, we have a person up here who I'm not sure if he's ever beaten. I've got to double check. Have I ever beaten you? Okay, I've, yes, I've beaten you. Have I beaten you? Yes, okay, we're fine. Uh, yeah, we have a uh, uh, some dual runnering to do. We have to get on a bike and probably crash and die horribly. With you, see, lucky us. Wow, this is an interesting bit of the map. <laughs> um, there's some more map down here, which I believe I've been to that had a little secret in it. Uh, but I already grabbed that. So, you say, hi there. Dizzy. That prototype dual run I was holding on to for you is running pretty good now. I want to take it for a test ride. 
Do I have a choice? Yes. I'll get ready for you. Why don't you put on this riding suit? Wow, I look like an idiot. It's still not perfect, so don't go too crazy. Oh, I forgot that it wasn't uh, up to go. It is in fact A to go. Not a great start. Luckily I have three minutes to do this in. Oh, I do not like the mechanics of riding a dual runner. It does not feel good. It actually feels real bad. What was that? That's a hole. Okay, we avoided the hole. I don't know what that was. I think I was supposed to get that. I think that might have been the power up. Um. Oh, hell, okay. We fell through the hole, but it was okay because it meant we missed a lot of horrible dirt. Oog! See some pixels on the screen, aim for them. Uh, okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh, I, I hit the wall. Slows you down. Oh, it's a card. I wonder if that's an additional card for my deck. Okay. Well, I missed two cards there. Although, all in all, that wasn't terrible. I obtained Speed Booster. I obtained a DP code for 160 DP. I'm pretty good, huh? It's not really for terrible just yet, but just trying to be no problem. And he's giving me a part. I think I found a part before, didn't I? For C's Turbo Chip 1. Now, what I wonder is can I redo that? Um, I'm just dropping down the save state in case we're doing it break stuff. Can I redo that? No, I can't redo that at all. I was wondering if I could redo that to get the cards that I missed. Well, I guess not. Okay, let's drop an in-game save. I guess we're going to go visit the dual runner shop. Which might well be open now. It is. Hello. There's another save point. Okay, so we, we rode the motorbike and didn't die, which is nice. Talk. Hello. This is Rossi, who is apparently modelled on the Swedish chef. He's been in a slump lately. He just can't seem to improve his time. His acceleration needs work. You just don't have the spare funds, you need to buy some wing parts. Can I have some wing SP? N yes? He gave me Colossal Fighter, which is not a bad card. Um. Okay, let's duel. Now what I've not done is uh, check to see if my deck was in good shape. <laughs> um, I switched back in the XYZ deck, which is probably good. Your deck is called Dual Cat. Oh blimey, can't even pronounce that. I on a sec. Oh, not Burden of the Mighty. Hate Burden of the Mighty, it's really annoying. But he has set a defense position monster, which is probably to my benefit. I do have Regeki Break in hand, and Dust actually. Right. Dual Catenaccio. I don't know what that means. Uh, I also have a reinforcement. I'm going to save that for this time because I don't know what of his... I don't know what he's going to do. So I don't know if I want someone like Command Knight, 
or if I want one of my Tinas. Ow! Jesus! That hurts. Negate the effects of spell and trap cards that target only one face up duck once you control and destroy them. Okay. Interesting. I do also have a little problem in that I have Magic Jammer, but I don't have anything I particularly fancy discarding at this point in time. Uh, are you wearing a dark deck then? Because that's annoying, because that means Catasta doesn't work. Uh, Ally of Justice, Catasta, one of my extra deck monsters, and one of the better monsters that I have. Do I want to dust that? No. Hmm. Okay, we have a shrink. What do we have in our extra deck? Because I've forgotten. We have Mistworm. Uh, we have not much, honestly. Um, so let's plop a reinforcement of the army to see who we want to get. See, even with a comrade and a command knight, we don't actually beat him. Let's grab some com let's grab comrades. Want to attack you on won't six hundred, that's not great. Um, let's sync her up the vellum. We'll dust tornado that burden so we can actually kill his thing. He's got a shrink. Well, that's annoying. This is going to hurt. Owie. Oh, I could actually have um, magic drained that shrink, couldn't I? A bit late now. You run this down. I'm gonna run Command Knight into the other thing, but it might well be another high defense monster. His deck seems to be themed around basically being defensive and dropping my attack down. It's a Tezkoala. Is Death Koala a dark monster? Hmm. This isn't feeling amazing so far, I'm not not gonna lie. Ah, <laughs> oh, not another bloody burden. Yes, I'm gonna magic drain it. Magic jammer at the end. Bye bye, W Wing. Uh, 
Uh, ideal draw here would be Comrade Swordsman, actually. Uh, if you jet. Irritatingly, just after I discarded my W wing. <laughs> God damn it, game. Alright, okay, let's find out what other horrible face down you have for me. Hoplomus? You're running Hoplomus? Curious. Very curious. Now, I love Hoplomus because I love Gladiator Beasts. Gladiator Beasts are my archetype of choice. Um, oh, I've now got the You Are Losing music, which is always good. I never let my guard down, he says. Well, he's not wrong. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, what would be a good draw here? Call of the Haunted to get back W. Or Comrade Swordsman again. Uh, X-Head is okay, but only okay. I didn't Regeki break that. I mean, not that I could at the moment anyway, but uh... Okay, so now uh, Y or X... Yeah, Y or Z becomes a good draw. Um... Well, we've got another X. I'm gonna keep you in hand. See, continuing to attack here's face downs with my level fours is doing me a lot of damage, but my concern is that he'll have horrible flip effects. You know, sort of like the, the Des Lakota style thing, if I don't. Okay, here's my Interceptor. That's fine, we don't really mind about that. Heavy Storm not helpful to us here. I could Raigeki break this. Run over Moai and attack for a decent amount of damage this turn. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh, okay, rather pressure, interesting. I'm not sure why he's chaining it here. Giant soldier of stone? Okay, fine, sure. 
I mean, I'm glad he's activated that now, because it means I won't try for, you know, VWXYZ fusions. It's a shame, though, because there, there, it turns out there is a... So to get the next um, World Championship pack in the shop, I have to unlock 12 tag deal opponents. Now I don't know if there's any tag deal opponents that you unlock through the story, but there are various additional ways. Oh, we're exactly even. There are various additional ways of unlocking tag deal opponents. And I think one of those is to summon VWXYZ, like the, the one guy. Right, this is not quite lethal, but this is enough that I'm kind of quite happy. I'm not so happy with the music, but there we go. We have a compulsory. We like a compulsory. Stone statue is perfect for his deck. Um, right, and let's wreck him with X head to finish. There we go. Not the most complicated deck to face against. You can see he doesn't have any extra deck, etc., as well, which is generally a good thing. And we get a little bit of money. Well, he does a bow. Take the look off your face. I mean, you won, right? Oh, he's giving me a card. Another one. Thank you. It's shrink. Okay. Well, it's a card. Card's a card. Right. Oh, so the people here address as dark magician. Go shopping. Well, I'll take your time to look around. So what can you buy? Effects of dual runners handling, endurance, and load weight. Also has a big impact on the dual runner's shape. Effect max speed, effect acceleration. You can equip shields which protect your dual runner, and fields which make an energy field and enhance your dual runner. Center. Install wings, side armor, or feathers to increase breaking ability. As if I break in this game. Dual runner's rear slot. Here you can install boosters and high boosters to temporarily increase speed, or turbo jets to extend acceleration endurance. Interior. Dual runner's internal slot. Improve your performance by using a variety of effect checks. Well, I can only use front and frame at the moment for whatever reason. Um, so I've got the beta frame. High endurance, doesn't handle so hot, and has a low load weight. Has great handling and load weight, making it easy to install options, however, its endurance is low. See, I didn't even know endurance was a thing. And these cost DP. Frame shield absorbs shocks and protects it from coarse obstacles. It absorbs shocks to the body, it absorbs shocks to the tires. Guzzles fuel and has a small gauge. There's fuel? <laughs> I instantly I have no idea what it is I'm supposed to be doing right now. No! Oh, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, do I? Is this where I do a practice run? Okay, sure. And then there's a bunch of courses I don't have access to. Select rules. Time attack or battle? Normal. Yes. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. But hey, there's a card in it for me. So I'm already not feeling too bad. 
Uh oh, ow. I guess you need to be faster. You need to have a faster dual runner to get over those. Oh, there was a card there that I missed as well. It's actually quite difficult to hit the cards. Oh, that's bad. Oh, ow. You keep turning a long time after you've finished hitting the button in this game. Like a long time after you've finished hitting the button. Is the green thing on the left my health? Um, I was hoping that going on the side of the mud would not slow me down so much, but it does not. Uh, well, I think I've still got this in time. I've got 20 seconds. I've not got far to go. Oh god, what the hell was that? There we go, okay. Well, it was a bit of a mess. Actually, that's a lie. It was a total mess. Rank C. DP earned 6. <laughs> okay. But I got a card. Speed spell, chaos end. Oh, sod speed spells. There are lots of helmets. Okay. Have I done everything I need to do? What the hell is going to be in the battle mode then? Oh no, there's other people on the track? Wow, well... <laughs> I, s <laughs> I guess I just suck then, do I? Um, they are so far ahead of me. They are an unbelievable amount ahead of me. We're only 20 seconds into the race! Nope, missed that entirely. I missed the speed boost as well. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was going to go down faster than that. Wow. They've nearly finished already. I'm being slaughtered. I see this is why you need an upgraded fuel runner. Nope, still too slow for that. Someone's already finished. I think one of them also fell down. Uh, this is embarrassing. I'm actually slower than I was last lap. Um, if this was the time attack, I would have lost. Uh, well, we can at least pick up a card. Oh! Oh, there's three laps! There are three laps of this? Uh, well. You know, as if I wasn't doing horribly enough as it was.
Miss it's another shot of this card which I missed. That speeder which I missed. <laughs> wow, what a disaster. What an utter disaster. I'm about halfway through lap two and they're finishing already. Hell, every time. Hmm. In case it isn't obvious, I really don't enjoy the motorcycle bits of this. Ah. Uh, like I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think the addition of Turbo Duels and Dual Runners to Yu-Gi-Oh was a good law choice in the first place. And the fact that the racing doesn't feel good in game just compounds the problem. No, there is just no way I can go fast enough to get over that. I've barely started lap 3 and they're about to finish. Um. So if I hit too many more things, I will not succeed at all. Uh oh, gold owl. Right, there's a card coming up. I want the card. You're going to give me the card. So at least this won't have been a complete waste of time. They are still going on the track. Even though they finished lap 3. I am in a little danger of being lapped. Uh, cause I'm about to hit the slow section. And they might well lap me if they go over the top. <laughs> well this is a disaster. Crawling, crawling, crawling. Right, I'm about to be off of the slow bit, but they are still faster than me. Okay, I think we're going to make it without being lapped at least. Whatever that purple stuff is, it doesn't actually seem to hurt me. Right, okay, so let's never do that again if we can possibly help it. Rank C, DP earned. Oh, we got 79 actually this time. Card perfect bonus, 50. So we got 50 DP for picking up cards along the way. That's something. Uh, he's You say gave me something to improve my dual runner, but I don't know how to do it. We've got speed brain control. Speed light swarm charge. Or we'll charge the light brigade. And speed... Burial from a different dimension. What? What a collection of cards! I didn't even expect there to be a speed charge of the Light Brigade. I'd assumed there wouldn't be archetype specific cards. Go shopping. I can't scroll down at all. Frame. How do I put on the thing? I don't know how to change my dual runner. I assume that's what I'm supposed to do, but you're now bloody talking about this. I don't know how to customize my dual runner, you idiot. I would have assumed that I'd be able to do it from the shop, but they don't seem to have that option. It's not in like... It's not in this menu, is it? Oh, it is. Customize dual runner. Customize. Right, I've got one frame, which is the alpha frame. Mm 
older engine. Low endure on a CPU for newbies. Whatever that means. DP parts, and I've got a part option, the turbo chip. Special chip that improves engine performance. Okay. Right. Change colour as well. Or is this going to change the colour of my outfit, do you reckon? That's kind of nice, a quite nice coral pink. I like that. Parts list. Race record. Oh, not good. <laughs> okay, I've now customized that. Uh, now what do I do? Let's drop down the save. I checked out the shop, I've installed the part you wanted. Can I go up here? No, I can't go up here at all. Uh... Okay, <laughs> I'm a little lost. What I might do is actually save scum this fortune teller. Because like hell am I paying for the game to tell me where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, pick, drop down the save state. Save state. See something. Win a duel, prove yourself to a leader. Okay, so I guess I gotta go find a uh, one of these duel bandit hideouts. Then question mark. Let's go talk back to Crow. Even though I don't really like that he's my boyfriend. And we are dumping him at the first opportunity. I'm a little worried that I may have bought the game somehow and, and the progress. Okay, that's fine. Kaylin, hey Dizzy, how are you feeling? Not doing enough enforcing? Then we'll have to get aggressive and attack other dual gang stuff. No, let's not do that! That's a terrible idea! Why would you even suggest that? The enforcers will be the only ones to survive this turf battle and the little satellite- No! We're not going around doing a gang war! Okay, but we're apparently now going to deal. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can I check out the dual shop first? Uh, I'm just dropping down another save state real quick. So I was a bit concerned that I bought it. Right. Go shopping. Now, so do we have any new packs? I can't remember. No, but we do have the new structure deck available, Blaze of Destruction, which we are absolutely getting. Because uh, we need to, to, to get the next one into the shop. Um... I don't think we're super fast by the cards in here. Like, there's definitely potential to turn it into a nice stall burn deck. Um, 
First Class is a nice five star, and actually would have been a nice addition to the deck back in days when you didn't really have a good five or six star. Um, we've got Pull of Greed, yay, hooray, it's banned. Uh, Snap Steel might also be banned, I'm not sure. Uh, like, Dark Room of Nightmare is great for burn, but you want more of it than one copy. Uh, Level limit is lovely for stall, even though I hate facing it. Um, Call of the Haunted, Backfire, yeah. You can make a decent... Like, this structure deck is one of the ones that makes an actual good structure for a deck. I think um, Rise of the Dragon Lords is kind of the same for that, actually. Like, it, it's a good thing to base a, a deck around, a good idea to base a deck around. And it's not amazing, for example, Infernal Flame Emperor, or whatever the hell the keycard is, of this deck doesn't suit that. But, you know, it's a good start. Uh, we have money to spend on cards. Uh... Let's grab five of these, because we still want that additional Z. Oh, I didn't mean to do the fancy way. Pitch Dark Dragon. May have needed some more of those. What do we get? We got another Mystical Knight of Jackal. We got another YZ, which I don't think we needed. I think the chance of me pulling more than two X's in these packs is minimal, so... I don't know why... Sorry, Z's. I always say Z when I mean it. I always say X when I mean Z. I don't know why Z is so much rarer than the other res. Uh, <laughs> or if it is just bias from, like, my perspective. We've got two Des Koalas. If we ever want to make a deck that involves Des Koala for some obscene reason. Oops, I didn't need to do that. That's fine. Oh, we did get another XYZ. I mean, we're unlikely to ever need more than one XYZ, but it's nice to have. We got another. We got Shinato King of a Higher Plane again. I remember fighting him, but I can't remember why. Uh, we got another front line, but I'm not sure if we're going to run it. We might already have three front lines, actually. Uh, I'm also going to go fishing around in this to see if I can grab another um, W, which would be lovely. We've got a Queen's Knight. When the uh, news about QE2 broke, I was very con seriously considering seeing if, if I could make a Queen's Knight based, jet -based deck. Um, I think the technical term- oh, we got another VW. We did get another W! Amazing! Uh, I think the technical term is, is a Poker Knight deck. I think that's what the, the archetype is called for whatever reason. Um, but it, uh, it wouldn't have been viable because a, a, the really, really good cards are quite recent, like 2021. But even the, uh, the key card of a, of a Poker Knight deck in the 2010 era is not available to me. I think it's in World Championship Edition 2. Okay, so we've got another W that we're going to pop in. We might pop in the other VW as well. We've got two more VWs actually. So let's go to our duelist menu. Uh, Amazon S Paladin, we just don't have you. Oh, we're already running three front line. Okay. Um. Right, the next question is who do I want to. Ch 
chuck out for another either XYZ or VW. Uh, we can chuck out Lichuri and Leo Drake because we never get some him. We can chuck this out because we never get to summon them. Let's add in another VW and another XYZ. Did I actually add in? Yeah, I did add in another W. Um, this is alphabet. Yes. Okay. Oop. Okay, let's go fight this guy. Where are you? Hello. Duel, yes. Show me what you've got. I have a VWXYZ deck. Oh, I tell you what, the captions are, are kind of improving a little bit. They managed to figure out that I said VWXYZ and like put those out as, as letters. I did that okay, I did choose to go first, thank goodness for that. What have we got? Rollout? Not helpful to me. Because I don't have any of my unions, but I do have a whole <laughs> summon one, five back four back row. Uh Oh hell! Oh hell! Oh, cacaroons. I also have really fat thumbs that really upset me sometimes. So now I'm going to be cross for this entire duel. Oh, he's running a dark deck as well. And what did you remove? And Vorse Raider is a, a, a key card of his. Right, what do you banish? Dark Hunter. I'm worried this guy's running a dad deck. We very much don't want a dad deck. Oh. If I'd had shrink, I had bloody MST deck, like a fat thumbed moron. Okay, we have W. In. Doesn't help us because he can only be equipped to V, but he gets us more damage. And we have rollout, so if we if we lose him, we can potentially get him back once we draw the... going to suicide your new Dory, are you? Well, that's okay, I guess. I was going to kill it anyway, and this way I get an attack. I'm a little miffed at losing my X-Head. I actually don't get an extra attack this way, because I would have attacked with X-Head, and he would have destroyed X-Head. Pick up 
pitch black wolf. Okay, we don't like that. Uh, you can have it back actually. Because I'm not allowed to do this during the battle phase. <laughs> I can't draw anything to give you gain this turn. Right, next turn he's likely to activate to summon Pitch Black again. Before the end of the main phase, so I'm activating Kunai to equip W Wing with now, even though it's not ideal. Oh god. I tell you what, the draws have not been fantastic. I'm very concerned about his graveyards. I think it's seven he needs to have to summon Dad, but there's other monsters he can summon like along the way. Uh, okay, that now has 2,000 attack. Guess we're Nightmare Wheeling. Runes. You see, I could have popped that with MST if, you know, things hadn't happened. Ow. Okay, the ideal draw this turn is V so I can roll out. Not useful. Not useful. Not useful at all. I'm going to be real cack and annoyed if I lose because of that MST misplay. It's really annoying when you, you, you misplay something that you never... Like, it would be impossible for you to misplay in real life. Because it's about trying to hit buttons. You know, you could never accidentally activate MST in real life. Uh, well, hell. Uh, I've lost. Oh, I'm so grumpy about this. I am so grumpy about this. What I should actually have done is just save stated after the misplay. Like, I don't really consider that a fair loss. Um, well, it's not my fault, is it? Don't blum and have a go at me. <laughs> oh, there are not words for how cross I am with you. I mean, I'm cross with you for running a dad deck anyway, uh, or at least a dark deck. This is not an amazing hand either, but it is at least a turn one Abellum. 
What the hell are you running? Running the Demon Barber of Baker Street, whatever the hell he's called. Um, what is he called? Hang on a sec. Okay, we've got Heavy. Baron of the Fiend Sword, that guy. Why is he in your deck? Do I Heavy for one thing? Uh, the answer is probably, because I'm about to set a bunch of stuff. So it's now or never on the Heavy Storms. Right, throw out Comrade Swordsman. Frontline. <laughs> this is a little bit what I mean about um, Frontline turning unions into like a generic swarm kind of deck. Like, you can throw out the Union and just get anything that you need a monster for. In the modern format, you could theoretically do it with Lynx, although it's probably a bit slow for that. Let's spin a card from his hand. We're gonna set Magic down, we're gonna keep Rollout in hand. Oh, we have a Z. Interesting. Uh, Bloodsucker. Is there a mill when you inflict damage? I'm not that fast by that. If we happen to top deck into X, oh for God's sake, not this guy again. If we happen to top deck into X, then we have XYZ next turn. Whittling him down, but without drawing into any good kind of combo, I'm not convinced about our ability to keep it up. Do we have a W in Grave? No, we don't, that's annoying. Oh, hell. Um. It's it's very embarrassing being stopped by your opponent's kind of bad normal monsters. Um, especially as I don't think that these are even like I don't think that's even a normal monster that he's got a particular combo with. Okay, that's kind of fine because we have shrink. The worry now is he does have seven in grave. Oh, thank goodness for that, okay. Uh, not helpful. Oh, actually, kind of helpful because we can get a Bellum up potentially. 
Not that Abelum can kill Dad if he gets one anyway. Ah, oh, we are just a turn too slow. Yes? Question mark? No, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I'm like, no, I didn't think I had a face that was useful here. I don't. Um, uh, no, I'm gonna wait. Let's see what we get. We get lightning vortex. Okay, well we beat him on the second try. We still didn't have anything particularly amazing going off. Um, right, okay, we went one all. Which is fine, I guess. Um, not bad, keep it up. How about I become the leader of the enforcers instead of you? Ha 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 ha. How about I don't join a gang? Seems to be in pretty good shape, so I've decided that tomorrow is our next tough battle. Please don't! We've almost conquered all of satellite. No, we don't. There's like eight different other dual gangs here. Make sure you let Crow know about tomorrow. Aww. I don't want to let Crow know about tomorrow. I'm gonna buy more cards to make myself feel better. I will get this other Z metal tank eventually. It will happen. I have all of the fusions like 8,000 times. They're all much, much easier to come by than Zed Metal Tank to make them. Okay. Right, we're gonna go and speak to our boyfriend, you. Next tough battle tomorrow. Hey, just let Crow the bullet. Yeah, show him a thing or two. Are you going to shoot them? They're going to show up with like Yu-Gi-Oh decks, and you're going to actually shoot them. You two should be prepared. Don't suck off and sort your deck out. Don't forget to wear the enforcer's uniform for the match. All right, go home and rest up. Oh, so I don't live? No, I do live with him the next day. Okay. I don't actually know where I'm going, I will say. <laughs> I'm just returning to where I was supposed to be last time. I'm going to Satellite. Is this Satellite Slum? Do I need to be here? I don't know. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be. The game charges you money to find out. <laughs> uh, Which is a decision taken by some psychopath. Um, have I beaten you? Yes, okay. Oh, maybe I should have spoken to Crow, actually. That would probably have been the more, more sensible thing to do. I didn't actually check if Crow was there, I just sort of assumed he is.
What's over here? Oh yeah, that's it, that bit. The random house. But it's probably going to be plot relevant later. Oh, a small child. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't speak to you straight away. We've got turf battle against Team Black and Blue. Who are going to beat us. Yes, okay, let's say we're ready. Where the hell am I? You're late. Jack and Yusei are already out looking for our opponents. Yusei's supposed to be the good guy of the, the Yu-Gi-Oh series, right? Why the hell is he in a gang? You and Crow check out the first one. Deal with everything you got. Actually, I'm not allowed. There's a deck size limit. Where am I? Oh, there was a person hiding in the box. He was called Arashiyama. You look pretty weak to me. Show me what you got. Do I have to? I'd kind of much rather not. I'm honest. You'll find somewhere else, okay. Okay, fine. Hi. Deal, yes. I think I can beat you. I mean, maybe. I've not got that great a deck. You're called Blue. Your deck's called Blue Hurricane. I have zero idea what that means. Okay, what have we got? We've got V, we've got Z, we've got Flanvel. Let's set you. Thinking that we'll probably go into Catasta next turn. Okay. Did that? I'm sorry, what did that? Increase both your and your opponent's life points by 400, but it only actually increased his life points. Right. Okay. Um, let's throw down Twin Sword. Let's actually flip Flamvel face up. Let's try for the Twin Sword to be mean. Well, he can be mean. He's got Petit Dragon. Or Petty Dragon. How bizarre. How very bizarre. Hmm. Uh, oh, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. Well, well we're attacking you directly. Oh yeah, 100 points of damage. I still don't exactly know what his strat's going to be. He's got another blue medicine. Still doesn't work how it says on the card. I don't know if it's a problem with the card or with the how it's programmed. I think it's a problem with actually what the card text says. I don't think it's supposed to say that.
Okay, he's got an e hero knops. Which is very curious. Maybe his deck is con is filled only with monsters whose names you can easily mispronounce. <laughs> so Petit's Dragon and E Hero Knops. Oh, we've got another Twin Sword. I'll happily go for that. Depending on what he's got, we might have lethal here. Black Patera. He does! He's just got a mon his deck is only monsters whose names could be mispronounced. Catasta. <laughs> oh, Finish him off. Nope, please don't shrink yourself. Okay, well, that wasn't so challenging. It's just an empty box, there's someone else hiding in it. This leads to the basement area, like Jack and you say, handle that, so you check out the other floors. Okay. I don't know why that staircase leads to the basement. Oh, we've got a save point. Nothing useful here, just a bunch of garbage. Okay, is that it? Just that one guy? For a gang ward, that seems kind of tame. Well, it really is just in. Oh no, there's a box here. An empty cardboard box. That is not cardboard. I know you're in an alternate universe, pink haired Dizzy, but uh. Oh, he's stopped blocking the stairs. There might be more of them on this floor. I'll hang back and keep looking. That didn't sound good. At all. That actually sounded real bad. Oh god. Okay. Kaylin, Dizzy. Clock. Your friend's here. If you want to save your buddy here, you know what you've got to do. Yes. Run away. It's a completely useless heap of scrap. What, Kaelin? Uh... I have to help Kaelin before it's too late. Do I? Are you sure? I'd much rather not. Kaelin got himself into this mess. This was his idea, and he was all like, oh, I'm sure nothing they have can beat me after he got walked over by like a pathetic attempt at an XYZ, VWXYZ deck. The only way of saving him is by going through me first. Well, that's what I was sort of what I was trying to do, but okay. Duel, yes. Clock. I wonder if you're running a D hero deck. That would be kind of interesting. No, he's running a black chrono deck. Uh, I don't know what black chrono means, but I feel like I've seen it in Yu-Gi-Oh somewhere before, like the, the name. Bop. Uh, first to go. Let 
Let's get our breaker. Set. End. Curse of Darkness. A thousand damage for activating spells. Uh, yeah, we're gonna compulsory his monster because I'm gonna heavy storm. I'm going to use Breaker's Effect first. So I don't take a thousand damage for heavy storming. Uh, maybe that wasn't worth it, actually. What's this? Trap of Border Raiser. Weird. Okay. Probably actually should have just taken the life point here, to be honest. And save Breaker's ability for the next turn. Too late now though, isn't it? Right, as turns go, that's okay, but my field isn't really that hot at the moment. There's, I've got lots of potential draws that will make it fairly hot. Any tuna, any of V, W, X, Y, Z, apart from V and Y. So, W, X, Z. Those will all help. Combat Swordsman, it's fine. Okay, Curse of Darkness again, that's okay. We don't quite have game here, unless I take a real risk on whatever that is, but I don't want to. No, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have worked. Um, what do you do? Uh, let's go, let's Reduce the battle damage you take to the next attack, this turns to zero. Well that's irksome. This is looking promising. That looks less promising. <laughs> Black Salva. He's a little bomb. Uh, he doesn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Tempest. 
Take him and go. Our leader will sort out the both of you anyway. Wait, he's not even the leader? Sorry, Dizzy. Yeah, you should be. Uh... Kaylin? Are you gonna get beat up again? Why don't I get my back over here? Because I don't want to? Uh, I should save state. Can I, can I leave? Hi, Crow. You'll hang back, will you? Bloody useless. There's a tough battle. You shouldn't leave. Do I know who Jack is? The only Jack I've met so far is Jack Atlas, and I feel like he's not in my motorcycle game. Even though he is a motorcyclist. Okay. Wait, is this the spooky building I was in before? You can't see anything you need. Wait, there's something I need! Money! Maybe this isn't the building I was in before. Oh, hang on, is there a... Oh, this is weird. There's a way out the side here. It's like a little crack. That's cute, but completely pointless. Here are Yuki. Hey, wait a second. Aren't you from the other team? Did everyone lose already? Were you saying that from inside? How did you know I was here? Small child in a coat. Okay, small child in a coat is the leader of the gang. Good to know. Uh, I'm sort of looking to see if there's any of your money that I can steal. Seeing as if I'm engaged in criminal activities that they're going to get me killed anyway. I might as well at least get some money from them. He says, go easy on me. Special rule! Draw two cards each turn. Oh, okay. Right. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. His deck is called I'm the Boss. Well, I bloody need the extra draw, don't I? Jeesh. Okay, well, we are summoning W-Wing. And setting five, would you believe? Set. 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 What a turn! Oh yeah! <laughs> he plays Heavy Storm, we cry. Oh, he plays a Lure of Darkness, you also have that. What do I have? Do I get a break, Book of Moon can I? No. Uh, I didn't see what that was. It looks like some weird psychic monster, possibly. Although he's not running an extra deck. Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine with you. How you are? Mad Reloader. You just drop a button to the graveyard. Send two cards from your hand to the graveyard to draw two cards. Is he running an Exodia deck? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw out Twin Sword. Why is it draw from? When the space up card on the field is sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card.
So are they doing damage calculation? Oh, okay. Yes. What seven tools that? Mostly so he doesn't get the draw off. I'm assuming that he doesn't need any help drawing cards and that whatever he's trying to draw is real bad news. <laughs> and destruction. Okay. Wormlings. He's all about the drawing. Lightning Vortex, that's not good. Yes, I'm going to Book of Moon. I'm going to Book of Moon Wing. He gets back hand destruction and presumably activates. No, he can't activate it again because he doesn't have enough cards. What's the point? Like, I, I don't understand what the point is of what you're doing. Um. I have game here with the uh, twin swords with kunai. Possibly without kunai. There's now a card that can be activated, are you sure? Uh, hang on a sec, I'll do some math in my head, so that's 1200 damage from this attack. Plus 1600 is 2800. Plus 1300, yeah, I've got game. Uh, unless his trap does something. No. Maybe I should have Rageki Braid. What is your plan? Or well, what was your plan? You just draw all of the cards and, and none of your cards are helping you. I should be the leader because I'm so strong, but I'm not sure if I agree anymore. I hope everyone will believe me when I tell them how good you are. What is going on here? I just, I just beat a, an eight-year-old in a gang war. Crow threatened to shoot him. Who the hell is this blonde guy? He is. What? Alright, now I've got control of that area too. Y yay! Haha! <laughs> yeah! Woo! He was not pretty tough. He was a bit weird. Fair and square, eh? What? Does Kaylin cheat at Duel Monsters? Why 
What on earth is going on? Mostly my body is... is suffused with abject confusion. <laughs> The next day... Where am I? And why am I wherever I am? <laughs> is this the rundown building I was in before? I think it is. This is not the rundown building I was in yesterday, though. Just another pile of junk. What on earth is going on? Oh, this is the building I was in before. Is this our hideout? Is this our gang hideout? I hadn't realised. It's, it's particularly... Awful. You would not choose this as our gang hideout if you had the choice. It is! Okay, I see. So where was the other place? I thought this I thought this might have been where we were, but the map wasn't quite right. Jack, age doesn't matter in general, it's all about how good you are. You never plan on using music to anyone. Good. I do plan on losing sometimes. Specifically, uh, in D&D right now. Uh, I have a game leader where I'm a player. We're playing Strahd and we're going up against the Coven of Hags. Uh, we are probably all going to die horribly. That certainly is the plan. Um, right, okay. I, I am once again left directionless. Have I talked to you before? Oh yeah, you're the Starship Lady. Have I dealed you before? Yes. How much money do I have? Oh, a new pack has been added to the shop. Wow, that's definitely worth a look, isn't it? Right, hello. Oh, I see what your new pack is. Oh, Soul of the Duelist, that's new. Okay, what's in Soul of the Duelist? Uh, I've got to go... Excuse me a sec, everyone, as I go and look up what's in the various packs. Boost of pack list, WC10VG. Soul of the Duelist. Oh my god, there's a lot of packs still left to unlock in this bit. Uh, Horus level 8, kind of obviously. Inferno Fire Blast. Here's a red eye support card. Mystic Swordsman level 4. Armed Dragon level 7. Okay, so this is mostly levels, I'm guessing. Mobius is in here. Horus level 6 is in here. Um, a card called Null and Void is a super rare in here. Prevents drawing, basically. Uh, Dark Mimic, More Arms Dragon, More Horus, More Mystic Swordsman, Ultimate Insect level 1. Ojama King is in here, weird. More Arms Dragon, More Dark Mimic. Uh, Heavy Slump and Howling Insect. Howling Insect is the uh, Pyramid Turtle but for insects. Heavy Slump, don't care. Heavy Slump just 
punishes enemies for having high hand size. Red Eyes B Chick is in here. Called Red Eyes B Chick as well, which is nice. Uh, Ultimate Baseball Kid from the Fire Deck is in here. Okay, well that's a bit of a weird pack. If I wanted to make a level dragon deck, which would be kind of interesting, it would be a good place to start. Uh, we have a Yi in the chat. Well hello there to you too, Yi. How are you doing? We've just unlocked a new pack after winning a gang war. <laughs> gang wars, yay. Um, that's kind of disappointing. Because uh, you, you can't, I can't make a full level deck from that really, is, is part of the problem. Ye has just said, uh, God, I love seeing you get bigger and bigger. Well, uh... <laughs> um, oh dear. Uh, what I am currently doing is getting loster and loster. Because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Having beaten the gang, I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Oh, hello. Big exclamation. Oh god, there's another dual gang. They're gonna run me over! Get off the road! Oh god, it's my useless boyfriend. Hey, Dizzy. Ooh, you're pink now, ye. Um. What's up? You look a bit out of it. Is something wrong? Yes. What do you mean, is something wrong? Crow, something awful's happened. Itsuki's been kidnapped. Who the hell is Itsuki? <laughs> they took him away on a duel runner. You saw duel runners that look like the ones that took Itsuki away. Uh, no, you, you are... You really need to get that, 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 that colour pinned down. You might want to see a doctor if we keep changing shade this quickly. Uh, you saw duel runners that look like the ones that took Itsuki away. Did I? I saw duel runners? Mostly they look like the villains from a, uh, a children's TV show. Annie, you stay here in the house. What kind of crazy small child is like, oh no, members of a gang kidnapped someone, and then they see us two who are members of a different gang, and, and then goes like, oh yeah, that other gang will help. <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy, you go ahead on your dual runner. Oh, I don't want to go ahead on my dual runner. Hmm. Have I ever looked at these boxes? No. I don't even know where they went. Did they go south? I have to chase after the dual runners. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> You've seen that before IRL. What? People being kidnapped by motorbike? I'm lost. Uh, do I have to go up here? Up the bridge? I don't know where they went. <laughs> I don't know how to follow. Um, can I go home? Let's go home. Hello child. Oh, maybe I have to ask her where they went? Question mark? I'm very lost. Uh... Child. Please be back at Tsuki. Nope, she has no idea where I'm supposed to go. Ah, uh, is it this way then? Okay, it might be this way. Hang on a sec. Not trying to offend you, but you saw a guy's name today on Twitch that said smoking on the Queen's ashes. Shall we begin race? Oh, okay, I have to dual run a- oh no, I'm gonna absolutely get slaughtered here. Uh, I promise you, Yi, that I do not get offended by people being mean about the Queen's death. Like, uh, it's not my favourite activity in the world for people to do, but like, I, I just don't care. How we begin race? Like, okay, it's them being a bit rubbish, but you know. Oh, I'm 
gonna be slaughtered. I am so bad at the biking. Do, do, do. Oh, but I can get some money from it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm hitting all of the things. I'm also not straight in the middle of the road. I missed that money. Um, I missed the card. I'm missing all of the goodness. That's money. I have that. Oh, I think I overtook him. Let's get a 10 second silence for the queen. Okay, I'll mute myself. I can have a biscuit. Um, yeah, pro tip for anybody who is not particularly pro-monarchist uh, and is having to deal with people who are being annoyingly pro-monarchist at this particular point in English history, just be like, oh yeah, I'll eat a biscuit. It'll make you feel better, and it'll probably upset them. Hey, you guys are from Team Dirty Works. Okay, is it Tsuki the child? Um, these people are called Kiroi. And someone else. Kamino. That's where the clones are from. Don't underestimate us. Bring it on. Oh, are we doing a tag deal? No, we're just doing the one-on-one. -on -one. That's a shame. His deck is called Lucky Turtle Shell. I wonder if that means he's got like catapult turtle and stuff. What have I got? I've got Breaker and a whole lot of monsters that unions can be attached to and frontline and no unions. Um, I mean, again, this is a this is a a hand that has a lot of potential for whatever I draw next. Any synchro, uh, sorry, any tuna, any of my unions, they're all good draws. Gora turtle. Okay. So he's currently stopping my breaker from attacking, but breaker won't have nineteen hundred attack forever. What have I got faced out? I've immediately forgotten. Oh, Lightning Vortex. Not super duper useful right now. Oh, okay. International Matter Transport. No, you can have that. Down old X head boy.
Okay, fairly decent start. Uh, nothing too special happening. What's up, Yi? Let you tell me when you get affiliate, the money gonna be rolling in. I mean, that's the dream, that's the dream. Uh, no. Nothing on that. Can you give those subs woohoo? I mean, uh, so long as you are living within your own means, ye, then. Uh, yeah. Both players must set spell cards before activating them. God damn it! I was about to activate the spell card this turn! How annoying! Oh wow, that's quite a few. Um, are we gonna set Lightning Vortex just in case? I think we are. You know, if we don't need it, then we don't need it. Uh, uh, v Tiger pop that. Ooh, Castle Walls. That's annoying. Who the hell runs Castle Walls?! <laughs> you are a, a, a very generous human, ye, uh, if that is the case. Um, oh, hell, okay, there's Pyramid Turtle. Are you running a turtle based deck? With Pyramid Turtle and Gora Turtle? There's no synergy between those cards. <laughs> you can't wait anymore. Well, uh, sadly for both you and me, we're all gonna have to. Um... Okie what have you got in store for me? Alright, uh, thank you. You dropped 50 today on this guy, wow, that's a lot. Um, Yi, as it turns out, is absolutely loaded. Uh... Okay. V Tiger Pop this. Oh my gosh, game. Hurry up! Oh my god, no, 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 the castle walls! Ah! <clears throat> This is the most weird deck. It's like, oh yeah, let's have turtles without apparent synergy. Castle walls. You're not gonna go far into it, but you do work, so chug. All power to you, is what I say. You have had, I knew it was gonna be like another turtle. You're having a feeling this game is gonna be the end of me. <laughs> Um, just this particularly weird deck that he's got is going to be the end of me, to be honest. Alright, run that down, and then he's going to summon something, and I might actually Lightning Vortex at the end of this. Actually no, he's got nothing, he's got nothing useful, it's just... Oh my god, you know what this deck is? His deck is turtles all the way down. That's what his deck is. Oh no. Right, well, let's get 
Do I want the equip or do I want the special summon? I want the special summon, I think. Never before seen on screen. VW Tiger Calipot. Da -da -da -da. It's not that great by the standards of the VW XYZs, but it's okay. Are you a 6 star or a 5 star actually? If you're a 5 star, that's. You're a 6 star, gosh darn it. Um. What is up with your deck, dude? There is no synergy here at all! No. We're just gonna Lightning Vortex and, and kill him. Um. Because I'm tired of these turtles getting back more turtles. <laughs> so we're just gonna skip that and go directly to you lose. Let's head. Um, Breaker can get a chance. And uh, finally, VW. If you're thinking, VW Tiger Catapult does not look like a particularly aerodynamic machine, you are absolutely right. It doesn't. Right, but I got that sweet Moolah, and we're gonna free the child. Camino says I'm not bad, Kyori. We're not gonna forget this. Oh, he stalked off particularly angrily. Can we can we have our child? Not our child. I really hope not our child. Oh my god, please tell me. Please tell me Crow is not the dad to my child. Um Fine, and you two come save me. So I wasn't scared at all. Or let's go home. Da -da -da. I just knew you guys could do it. I'm definitely not old enough to have twins. Um, well, he's giving me a card from my own house. How many people live here? Oh my god, this is- oh my god, me and Crow have two children together. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the, the foibles of parenthood, Crow. Wouldn't have even been able to find them without you. Are you sure about that? So if he talks big, but I know he was scared to death. Just glad you're around to help. Oh, and he's back. Hello. Kaylin came by earlier. Oh god. Told you guys were out, so he told me to tell you to come by the hideout when you get back. So for the record, I did give you the message. Oh god. <laughs> Doesn't anyone know how to just relax? You know what a sensible person would do if their child was kidnapped would be call the police. But because we're in a gang, we can't do that. We can't do sensible things, no, they're not allowed. Um I can't go on the computer. Can I sleep? Can I just ignore Kaylin and go to sleep? No. Oh. <laughs> uh you have something new to say? If, oh, oh, now everyone's just talking about kidnap! <laughs> oh god. Um, uh, I'm gonna spend more money fishing for another bloody Z metal tank, even though it's a totally disastrous idea. Oh! Curse of Darkness is ready! I'm going to save up for this instead. 
Actually, I need like one deal to get the money for that. Hi, child, deal me. <laughs> I just need to, to rob you of some money quickly so I can buy this deck. Hang on. Uh, oh, you're actually like... Are you one of the ones who was fairly strong? I'm worried you might be. It's going to be real embarrassing if I get beat up by this child again. <laughs> Harvest Angel of Wisdom. Uh, not my favourite, but okay. Command Swordsman, not bad. Uh, we're going to throw down Command Mike. Nothing we have can survive harvest this turn. Dynamis Dark Witch, okay. Uh, lightning Vortex will come in handy for later. The question now is, do I want to... Okay, we'll save the Synchro for a turn. We'll throw down Twin Sword. Pull out Dunamis. Okay, less keen on the uh, all face down, especially given what I know of your deck. We're going to pretend that it's fine. So we have plenty of damage we can put out this turn at least. Okay, another Nova Summoner, that's allowed. By which I mean there's not really very much I can do about it. Oh, he didn't... Oh, it's from his graveyard to his hand, idiot. I, I must admit, the, the Shining Angel Nova Summoner combo, although there's nothing wrong with either of the cards in and of themselves, the existence of both of them at once, and the ability to have them both in the deck, it's a hell of a long chain to get through three Nova Summoners and then three Shining Angels. Right, Abellum once again... This time with a little attack boost. I'd still love to draw frontline, to be honest. Or Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm would be lovely too. Got seven tools instead, which is at least kind of quite good for 
Hmm. I'm really tempted to warrior returning back a uh, twin sword. Let's do it. Okay, Dark Bribe, that's fine. That wasn't key to our strategy, it was just something that was going to help. We drew Frontline! Marvellous! So, X. Special Summon Y. You pop Shiny Angel, which presumably gets another Shining Angel. Actually, I should probably attack that face down. It's another Shining Angel, okay. Hey, I'm very happy to have Honest on the field. I'd much rather have Honest on the field. Radiant Gerald. Okay, nothing that bothers me. Main phase two. Uh, equip White Dragon Head. Set seven tools, which could be a super duper key card against this guy. Theoretically, if this doesn't summon anything else, I have exact game between the other two monsters. You get Stark Bride back, that's fine. And then he loses. Oh, thank you for not embarrassing me, small child. Um, I was very worried that was about to happen. sad. Nothing with a little punk. Yeah I know but I'm apparently like a punk with two children so <laughs> I've got to do what I can to make ends meet. And by make ends meet I mean buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Right, Diabolos, King of the Abyss. Uh... Card, can not be attributed by cards effects. Your opponent's draw phase, pull the draw, put the card in the deck, then put it on the bottom of the deck. Oh, this is the one that has the weird. all the crush card clones. 
for no particularly great reason. Um, and it's just like a, a weird deck in general. Um, hey, a stealth spell isn't bad if we do want to make that burn deck. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I'll grab two more packs while I'm here. You never know when you're going to get your Zed Metal Tank. I shouldn't have opened these the slow way. Remind me what combination attack does. Oh yeah, that's... It's almost neat. I don't think it's that great, but it like it has potential. No. Okay, that's fine. We will get you, Zed Metal Tank. We will, I promise. What time is it? It is 2.06. We've got about an hour left for today. Let's go and see what bloody Kaelin wants. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to stop for just a moment and have a bit of a drink. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. I don't actually know exactly where in our hideout Kaelin sort of lives. Um, oh, Jack's gone. Wing, Jewel Run Apart. Where did I get that from? Because I'm worried I might have got it from the future. Um. Okay, Kaylin, what are we doing? Oh dear. You're late. Where have you two been? Don't ask. <clears throat> Tell us from the bathroom. That's why Annie looked so upset. Did everyone know this before I did? <laughs> I went too far. Well, the coincidence. I was just thinking about who to go up against on next turf battle to make things easy. Dirty works. This. Let's go crush those guys right now. Bring your A game. Unfortunately, I only have my VWXOZ game. I'm, I'm holding for laughter, but there's not going to be any. Alright, I'll get it ready as quick as possible. <clears throat> Dizzy, you've got to hurry up and get ready too. I'll go tell Jack and you say. Let me know when you're ready, I'll be waiting out front. Oh. Can we not kind of skip to the bit in the future where I've, I'm have i no longer part of a gang and I'm with just like a nebulously evil organisation instead? Uh, I should probably also save state this as well, shouldn't I? Do -do -do -do. Uh, over here. Nope. Oh dear. Well, oh well. Am I ready? I suppose. Chapter 2 feels a lot longer than Chapter 1. He's running off on his own. He's not very useful. Oh, Crow! D oh, no. Well, I guess I gotta wait for. Oh, dear, it's these two. Dizzy, where are Caden and Crow? They're on the side. You must still be mad about this morning. 
What happened this morning? Or do they mean the kidnap? <laughs> yeah, if we're lucky, Kaylin will be dead. Um, oh, okay, we're at this little rolling alley. Phenomenal, ye. Um, okay, right, we've got to play hide and seek. What are they hiding in the video game? You can only make out letters Manny. Manic Panic? No, that's a hair colour. The industry's first online battle arcade game. Oh, I found. Oh, no, it's just Jack. Never mind. Stay alert. Britain needs alerts. Uh. It's like an arcade game. You play with cards? Oh yeah, you know, an arcade game that you play with cards. That 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 kind of arcade game. Chapa da ba? There's something stuck in the coin slot. It's a star chip. Oh nice. Uh, that's probably why the game is busted if people were trying to pay for it with those. A cool retro game. It says the ultimate side scrolling shooter with a power up gauge. But it's not. The <laughs> I think I know. I think I've spotted where they might be hiding. You know, um, I'm not sure how they got there. But uh, oh, it's this guy. This is the guy who I didn't beat last time. Attacking so soon? You guys are pretty impatient. Yep. Get your. Excuse me. I'll deal with you right now. Okay, fine. Didn't you already get slaughtered earlier today, like... Oh god, there's yelling going on in my house. It's never fun. Goodness only knows why. Oof. Start deal. Right, we have no monsters. We have one monsters. Uh, let's grab a V Tiger. Let's reinforcement searching out the combat swordsman. Set shrink. Set magic. Set seven tools. There we go. Bring it on. I can't- I don't actually know what your deck does. I didn't look at the deck title. Um, D spell? I bet he's gonna hit shrink, isn't he? No, he hit seven tools, that's fine. Masterful Magician. Oh, that's not great news. If I'm being honest. Oh my god, I forgot you were in this deck, honestly, Battle Dragon. Um... Right, throw out Comrade Swordsman. Try and smash whatever he's got face down. Frequency Magician. Uh, I don't care. Oh yeah, doing 900 points of sweet, sweet damage. Then let's get out a bellum. I tempted actually to kind of try and save up for Bow Dragon. I say save up, like wait a turn. But I mean, even with Shrink, there are plenty of things that can run over Conrad Swordsman. Because it only needs mm, 1900 or more attack. Which there are plenty of. Like, Breaker would do that, Skilled Dark, Skilled White would all do that, so we're not going to try.
Throw out Y because why wouldn't we? Another frequency magician. My uh, my foe here is not getting the best of luck, I don't think. Because frequency is definitely a card that you want sort of a little way into your setup. I'd say a little way into your combo, but it might be pushing things at this level of of, of dual monsters to call it a combo. Um, oh, frontline! How not helpful. It's a good discard fodder for Lightning Vortex, I suppose. Warlock of the Ice Barrier. Okay. I mean, it's a Spellcaster monster. It doesn't feel like it's going to be very good for your deck that's probably based around using spell cards to get spell counters, but. You do you. Do 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 do. Arcane Barrier. Each time a spell cast that monster on the field of strike, there's a spell counter on it. Send this card and one face up spell cast that monster you control to the graveyard. Draw one card for each spell counter on it. That's some pretty powerful draw. Um. Do I want a magic jam of that? No, because I don't think he's not going to get much chance to use it. I'd love a heavy storm, though. Could really do with a heavy storm. Oh, okay. How many tra how many things do you have in your graveyard? One. No, you can. Uh, I'll allow you to do the 200 damage to me. I'm more annoyed that it costs me DP for not getting a no damage. But, oh, for goodness sake! <sighs> Just a conflict. You can special summon the scourge and have a face up attack position. If you do a turn card on one face up monster, your opponent controls to the hand during the end phase of your opponent's next turn. Okay, that's not particularly helpful for him, but okay. Right. Pulse of the game here, depending on what his traps are. Another magical explosion. Oh no! <laughs> oh the pain! Sadly there's no way to get him down to 100 life points so that I can attack with Flamvel Guard. I know I keep mentioning this, I do I do desperately want to do it at some point, but I'll just have to be content with uh Why Dragon Head. Boop. Fantastic. This deck can't lose apparently. Uh-huh. If you say so. Money, money, money. We've got much more efficient ways of dealing with punks like you than dueling. I think it's about time somebody fell into our little trap. Well! I'm glad no one gave the game away! <laughs> So is this like the Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent of a gym in Pokemon? 
Oh, uh... Did you say leave? I mean, that's probably for the best. I don't particularly care for him. Boink! Oh wow, I actually just saved his life. What? Dizzy, if it wasn't for you, you'd be... Thank you. Yep, yeah you were. There are lots of traps set in the area, huh? I'm not sure how that trap was triggered. Is this just kind of a pile of junk that fell from the ceiling? Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> I've already dueled you once, mate! Rubble that fell deeply on this trap. The thought it could have hit you scares you. Has that blocked my way out? No, okay. I can run down the bowling lanes. I can pick up a bowling ball. Just a random ball that someone must have left. I can't pick up the bowling ball. I mean, none of the pins are set up anyway, I suppose. Well, I can't interact with that bowling ball. Oh, I'm stuck around there. Okay, well. Hello, only interact other interactable thing in the environment. Uh. Uh, are you sure? Is this easy? You can have the same deck as earlier? That feels weird to me. Lucky Turtle Shell, I guess he is. Is there some, like, linchpin key turtle card that I'm not aware of? Right, well, uh, I've got two front lines in hand, so I have one easy choice dis discard for Magic Jammer. Uh, I actually forgot what I have. Um, I was compulsory it wanted me to use. I was like, I don't have anything that wants, I want to use. It was compulsory. Uh, which I always think of as being like a battle trap, but it's actually useful for lots of other things. UFO turtle! Da -da -da. Ooh, okay. That would have been a lot more helpful save till your turn. But I'm not mad. MST. Sure, let's use it. Oh, sure, that one. Oh, Jar of Greed? Okay, fine, I guess. A weird choice for a deck that wants to have lots of stuff in their deck so it could be pulled out by special summons, but okay. In the right hands, Pyramid Turtle is a terrifying card, because it can pull out some very strong zombies. These are not the right hands. Um... Uh, 
I, I say terrifying. Not like terrifying, terrifying, but like strong. Okay. Oh, he's got a tribute monster. I'm guessing that's Catapult Turtle. Maybe this is the point of the deck. That he's always got something on the field to tribute with Catapult? Maybe? Um, if I just don't attack that though... Oh, I could Compulsory. I'll wait until a moment when I don't have a, something to attack with uh, Twin Sword. Oh, I didn't set Draining Shield. That's probably okay. I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have the free space. We'll pretend I intentionally didn't set Draining Shield. Okay, now let's compulsory whatever that was. Anti spell fragrance. Okay, that's fine. Oh, well, that's me. <laughs> Ow. Tower of Babel. Interesting. So he has like a bit of an anti spell deck going on. Do I actually have any monsters in grave? I don't think I do. Nope. Nothing to target with Cole. Oh, Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. Okay, I mean, it's thematically appropriate, I suppose, and as useful as any of your other turtles. Well, maybe I should have said draining actually. Some people are probably thinking, maybe even typing in the comments right now, but Dizzy, a tortoise is not a turtle. Well, I have some bad news for you because it is, biologically speaking, like there. There's no meaningful distinction between tortoise and turtle apart from like tortoises are, are nominally terrestrial. But you know, even not all terrestrial little turtly type boys are tortoises because we call some of them terrapins. It's entirely arbitrary. Uh, it, as I've not drawn into like any particularly great monster cards, um, we're just gonna sort of sit here for a bit, possibly till I can get Barrel Dragon up, who would be nice. Ooh, come that swordsman is nice as well for the uh, Urbellum. Interestingly, of course, Tortoise is now going to go to his Spell and Trap Zone. Well, actually it might not, I don't know. He is the AI though, uh, so he's probably not clever enough to not send it to his Spell and Trap Zone. Oh, 
I'm also curious that he didn't tribute it for whatever the five star one was that he had. That's a little bit annoying. <laughs> what do I have? I have coal. Oh, I forgot I have coal. I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see what I draw. No, not real. Okay, yeah, that's cool. As much as I'd love to get back Comrade Swordsman, we're getting back to Win Sword. Yep. I wonder if there are any support cards for the tor for the turtle archetype. Like any at all. Tiger boy. Um, it's probably quite greedy. We're gonna try this. Bombardment beetle? You're not a tortoise! What the hell are you doing here? Flip, pick up and see one face down the fence to monster car and put inside the field. If it's an effect, wants to destroy it. If not, return it to its original position. Why is that in your deck? It's like a particularly useless card. <laughs> it's not even doesn't even fit with your turtle theme. In related news, why do you have anti-spell cards in your deck that 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 Oh, never mind. Yes, I didn't. You'll again sometime. Well, maybe. We've already beaten them once. Humph, I can't believe my plan failed. Get out of it. No, that's not the point. Is that it? <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. Looking down to the end, you can see a dirty bowling pin. There's something at the end of the lane. A star chip. Amazing. <laughs> I went up here and I didn't even notice that before. I was sort of expecting, you know, bad guys. Um, where is everyone? Oh, hi, you've got a blue mohawk. You're in the enforcers, ain't ya? I heard all about what you did to some of my crew. To be fair, they did kidnap my son. I think you just bust in someone's hideout like that and get away with it, bring it on. Sure, give me a sec. <laughs> Data saved. Hi. You're gonna regret ever coming to this part of town. Special rule, match deal. Does that mean it's a match? So there's like side decking? No, I mean I don't have a side deck. And I doubt the AI would know how to use one. Uh, a match, for those who don't know, is how like tournament Yu-Gi-Oh is played. It's just a two out of three. Uh, there are occasionally cards that come along that have the effect, if this card attacks directly for game, you win the match. Uh, and those cards always get like insta-banned. Even though they're totally useless, because if a card like that is about to attack you directly for game, you can always forfeit and then you only lose the duel and you don't lose the match anyway. Um, it Just in a particular bit of Yu-Gi-Oh stupidity. <laughs> uh, okay, we're special summoning V, regular summoning Conrad, and throwing out a Bellum, who we always throw out, even though he's not that great. Oh, I didn't put... Colossal Fighter in the deck. I mean, I, I have no real way of getting him out. Because he's an 8 star, and I don't have anything like meshes with that. But I should have remembered. Okay, we've got 
got a book of moon in case anything annoying comes along. We've got nightmare wheel in case anything really powerful comes along. I've drawn you like three deals in a row now, I think. <laughs> Having forgotten that you're in my deck to begin with. Crystal Seer. Okay, sure. Blizzed, Defender of the Ice Barrier. Divine Dragon Ragnarok. What an odd combination of cards. I mean, your deck is called Ida Dragons, so I I understand the Divine Dragon Ragnarok, Needlebug Nest. Again, why? Wait a sec. I want to see what he milled. MST, Kishido Spirit, Magna Drago. Flamvel Dragmov. Okay. Um, Wingbeat. Curious. Very curious. I don't mind, we don't need the heavy storm just yet. Another Divine Dragon Ragnarok, okay. So I suppose all of the leaders of the, the dual gangs have their own special rules? Because the last one was, was draw two cards, this one is, is you fight him in a match. Um, and certainly this match is possibly going to take us to the end of the uh, stream, given that it is 2 out of 3, and things are not developing particularly quickly this time around. Ooh, hello! Shiny Z Metal Tank though. Lava Dragon. God, he looks ugly. Choose this face up defense position card. To special summon two level 3 or lower dragon type monsters. One from your hand and one from your graveyard. Yeah, I guess it's fine if you like that sort of thing. Special summoning level 3 or lower dragon monsters. Let's equip you to the X. Oh, 
I would have loved for that to be a a Y. Still, X said, "Do you destroy a face down defense position monster? No, face down spell trap cards. Done. Uh, I think we're just gonna go in for the attack." Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. I actually should have attacked with X first. Wait, Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress? <laughs> okay, sure, fine. I suppose this does more damage. Um, well, we win. Deal one. Oh, we get DP for every duel, not, not for the whole match. That's nice to know. Means we get more money. Exchange cards with side deck. Well. <laughs> oh, he's got fairly high Millennium Puzzle rating. Um, match, second round. Why didn't it say match, first round, the first time? Oh, I get to go first. Thanks. Sure. Green shield in case he has a monster we can't beat. MST and Magic Jammer. That's fine. Be my guest. I'll blow that up. There's a moderately good chance of it being another needle bug nest. Uh, spiritual fire at Kier Kierana. Shoot it while fire monster. Okay. Oh, hello! We don't often get you two coming along. Now, for whatever reason, it lets me special summon, even while he's unified. It's a bit weird, but it does. Maybe that should have been it. Doesn't seem to have drastically mattered. Ooh, two face downs. Curious. Uh, do I have to discard a card to activate your effect? If so, I'm not doing it, but if I can do it for free, I might. Yeah, that's definitely not worth it. Um, but we have an X with a Y on the way, which is very shiny. You know, I always assumed that the the W bit would go like on the back of the V to be like a a, a tail, um, and also potentially be a bit more aerodynamic in the process. The fact that the the V rides the W, I find to be particularly silly. Needlebug nest again. Why? What is the objective of your deck? Uh, yes, I want to have a look at what he, he mailed. He mailed emergency assistance. I've had you in my face too. 
was in a level 4 monster in your graveyard and destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard this turn. When does that ever happen? No tricking it. Ooh, okay, that's a bit mean. Also, Hydrogeddon? So, are you running a. What? <laughs> what is this deck? <laughs> What have you constructed for yourself, and why? The oh, front line. Uh, see, I could front line, which gets me a little bit of extra damage this turn, but it means I probably have to use draining shield next turn to save Comrade Swordsman. I'll do it. Mirage Dragon. I mean, there's, there's no less likely than any other dragons he's had. What card effect? Oh, never mind. It was Y Dragon Hands effect. It's like, what card effect did it want me to activate? It wanted it to be to activate Y. Um. Well, this is a little more exciting than the first round. But not particularly astonishing in terms of what's happening. He's needle bugging again. No, wait, I need to wait for it to happen. Right, what did you mill? Mask Dragon? That's the only card in your deck so far that has made sense. Widespread dud. <laughs> Blizz, we've seen before. Flandal Dragon, we've seen before. Another Hydra Garden. I'm just in a state of bafflement. You can hear my brain slightly baffling in the background. Ooh, okay. Frost and Flame Dragon. Card can't be normal sun or set, can't be special sun except by removing from play one fire and two water monsters from your graveyard. It's pretend you could discard one card to destroy one monster on the field. I see, okay. Well that's a little bit of a problem. Luckily, he didn't use the effect, and that's lucky because uh, I can change him with VW. Oh my god, VW's effect is actually going to be useful to me. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Not me. Um, and then I can run over it with X, and then I can kill him. <laughs> Congrats! Well, I never thought it would happen, but it did. Um, hmm. Yes, I did. You'll again sometime. Do I need to? Do do. I wonder if I get any special bonuses for winning winning a match. Match game bonus fifty. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's not that much. With it summing. Okay, well, I worked so hard on my team. It was wasted. It was entirely wasted. Hi, you say. Looks like we've taken this area too, then. Don't worry, the other members are fine. Kaelin and Crow actually handled the trap very, really well. Does that mean they're dead? No, he said they were fine. Bother.
That seemed like ominous foreshadowing. Alright, another day, another victory. It's too soon to get complacent just yet. We've still got one more area to conquer. We're almost there. There's a long battle. Do you really think we can conquer all the satellites? Oh no. We've got it sewn up, which I assume means like in the back. Be sure you all tweak your decks to perfection just to be sure. We wouldn't want to have to come. We wouldn't want to have come all this way just to lose here at the very end. Okay. Oh no, me. Oh, hello. The next day. Ah! Amazing! Wonderful! Forbidden Chalice! Just the card I wanted! Data saved. Um, how much money do I have? A new pack's been added to the shop. Well, that's very tempting. So that's going to be a, um... Uh, if that's going to be a new strategy deck. I'll go have a look at what it is, at least. Crow, hi there. He just kind of this card, my friend is this. Still reworking my deck. When you're done, let's give them a go. Okay, so I can't do them yet, but he might want to do me soon. Right, what pack have we unlocked? Go shopping. Please have a look around. No, no new structured deck. Cybernetic Revolution, the Cyber Dragon one. Uh, let's see, what is in here? I'll check out my cheat sheet. Cybernetic Revolution. Normal monsters. Oh, this is not organized like all of the others. All of the others are organized by rarity. This is organized by monster by card type. Because of course, why wouldn't it be? Thanks, Yu Gi Wiki. Normal monsters, Jerry Beans Man, Mad Lobster, and Soitsu of all things. Um Cyber Dragon is in here. Cyber Archfiend is in here. Which is not that great. Uh, DDM, Different Dimension Master. He's kind of neat in a in a deck that has lots of banished monsters, but his stats are so bad. Des Frog. Don't see Drillroid. Uh, Evolution Current, a Bubble Man. Jetroid, Steamroid, Tyranno Infinity. Okay, so this looks like it's a bunch of GX cards mostly. Wings, Kariba level 10 as well. Cyber End and Twin are in here. I was thinking of adding Cyber Dragon to the deck. Because um, there's. Partly because Cyber Dragon's like a, a nice little sort of starter thing to get out of 2100 Attack Monster. <laughs> Um, partly because down the line there's lots of fusions and potentially a fair bit of support cards possibly that will enjoy us having light machine type monsters which Cyber Dragon is one and the fusions will often want like Cyber Dragon plus just some machine monsters which we can normally do. Um, things like Chimera Tech Over Dragon, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon although I'm not certain if Chimera Tech Over Dragon is banned in this format. Uh, it might be, because we are around the era of the Chimera Tech OTK, uh, which was pretty nasty. Who else is there? Steam Gyroid? Sure, don't care. Miracle Fusion for our E-Hero deck will be important if we make one. Uh, DD Trap Hole. Don't care. Conscription? 
This is interesting. Um, again, nothing like like so. So it's worth pulling for the Cyber Dragons. It's not super duper wonderful, amazing. Um, mostly, I'm sad that we didn't unlock a new structure deck. Although I probably will play this a bit off stream until I've at least unlocked a new structure deck, or at least got to the point where we can. Um, so, uh, thank you. I'm just going to drop a save here. Thank you everyone so much for bearing with me through you here today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, I'm not going to say the full title. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2010. Uh, if you have enjoyed, let's put up my end screen. Uh, please do consider dropping a follow if you're here with me on Twitch. Uh, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, please do consider dropping a like, maybe even subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, you can see on my YouTube all of Yu-Gi-Oh! up to this point, as well as the other games I'm playing at the moment, like uh, The Angler Call of the Wild, uh, like Stacklands, which is a cute little village builder game. And I play all sorts, really. Uh, I haven't played a mystery or a puzzle game in a while, I might see about fixing that. You never know. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, at Diz for Demise, where I send out a tweet every time I go live, so you never have to miss one of these again. Uh, other than that, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you again everyone for being with me, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra!